Good morning, wonderful people. Great to be around wherever you are. We welcome you this early morning, mid afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you are, and depending on where you are listening to us from. We have come to you this very Friday morning that we may continue the propagation of this very gospel but through a slightly different dimension but hopefully also with the same outcome. We have come this morning not just to preach but to have a discussion to fill your questions to answer and address any queries you may have to put some of your minds at rest regarding how we are going to restore Biafra this very year and what we all need to do individually and collectively to ensure that that happens. My name is Enam Dekano. I am the leader of the Indigenous people of Biafra. I am the director of Radio Biafra and Biafra Television. And by the grace of Almighty Creator in Heaven, Chukukika Biyama Prumi Yanine, a servant of the wonderful people of Biafra, I welcome you and I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. I know morning broadcast is slightly unorthodox for our people, but we have said to do so this very day in order to address some of the issues that you may have. And as I welcome you, I will encourage you to welcome all those who are around you. All our FM in Biafra land is on full tilt. They are working very well. You can listen to us via satellite as well. You can listen to us via Garden Radio app. You can listen to us via Radio Biafra app. You can listen to us via Sweet Radio application as well. And also Simple Radio. Or you may choose to listen via my Facebook page at Mazen Namde Kano with 300 likes and about 450,000 followers. I welcome you this very morning. And as I said, it is more or less an interactive session. I will not do much preaching this morning. Any preaching or thing that I will do will have to emanate from the questions you are asking or about to ask. I will give you the number to call once again and please note it down and when somebody is speaking do not try to interrupt them by calling at the same time. I will very seriously ask you not to do that. Once again, we welcome you. Once again, we ask you to please be part and parcel of what we are doing this morning. And without further ado, without going any further, I will, of course, refer and hand over all that we are doing Hi, Chukukika Biama Prumi Henine. We are going to pray very briefly, and after that, then the lines will be open, and I will begin to take your calls, and I will begin to answer your questions. It doesn't matter what it is. Here we are open. Here we learn. Here we teach. Here we lecture, and here we tutor. Sometimes you teach your students, and they feel. They have a superior research here this morning. I also want you to educate me. If you have anything, any knowledge you feel or wish I should be aware of, 
please, 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 we are waiting very, very eagerly for you to impart that very knowledge that we must pray. We must pray a psalm of David that Chukuki Kabiyama may abide with us. Part of this prayer I prayed on Wednesday and I will continue to pray the same prayer today from Psalm 91. And I will pray in the language of heaven if you don't mind. Ezio nyan wanya na chine ke nan ke prumi hanine. Onye hona nyan ya na dida maru me biye. Onye opu ya nine na biya na mezu. Onye na diga gari pumu ya. Onye sine bi po fahi ya we polite mwombo nya. Chine ke nan ke ne memma. I don't in a brega marine on me, Kogi, Miss Uginine, a Bob Lahana, or a Marine, Bob Rogabo, IPUB, Omoge Bonde, Biafa, and Naka, Miss Utua, a Marine Berege, Honagi, or me, Kogi, Wes Work and a Banino. Here you know one in the Chanyo Muchineke, Nihinane Bonde Gosera. I want you to see can you can you want you to go be done number two sit on a pamahon not a mahon me a hon can you go more no sit on a make it can you want you man and you went out of your mind when i don't get in a cable because he went on all one how can you remember to tell you no because then can you ask where can you win and keep work he will support and i can't join him Nee, and they run out here, but you name na Now, can't you not keep a candidate to an ad? Bundio Puasi, Bundana Maribu, Gomori Buchinakin. Bundi Potat, how we might hear you who Bundana were under full and your depo. Bundi Pacono Banco, only one at Chinakin. Where is your Kubu Puasi? And you were not again. Bunny Binny Melly, go away, Bonya Wendwani, Nee Nikuan Yonqua. No worry, your job, Labu Cagata Quasiani. Nampa Bunine, again, Metotanian Aho. Nee, you won't move ye woo, Kahawe Chebani, Kahawe Cheba IPO bin Naka Bread and Gossi, and you will not send up on the bank and you will not be living like you were. Come up in a marine. I don't know what you When I you Hagasena mwa yonu utwa kachine kena nki gwede. Kama nyo mwa nye po mwge wengo. Isi ya kuli nime gini. Ani ke mwe si nko ta. Nusure nko gwa mwa nye po chine kena nki gwe sa kanywe baso. E mwa nye si nko nye lo wwa. E mwa nye si nko nye 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 sa chine nye bu nye jomwa nye kene kene kwe na nye kwe na nye kwe. Ki uri yuwe chane ba nye no. Ki uwe duwa nye nuswa nye nke ziyo mwa nye. Ki uwe wwa kari nke ziyo mwa nye kwe pa gita. We must proceed this very morning having handed over all that we are unto the loving embrace of the Most High. Our lines are going to be opened right now, and I will ask you, of course, to call via Skype alone if you can, and to participate in what we are about to. The number to send your questions to, or the number to call to ask your questions, is plus one 
is a US number plus one. This was the number used in the USA when I was there. Plus one, five, one, two, nine, five, five, two, eight, zero, seven. I repeat, plus one, which is the code for USA, five, one, two, nine, five, five, two, eight, zero, seven. I am waiting for Mazio Former to try and get me the details of the Skype. Look at the details because of the time differential he's in Australia. And Australia do not have the same time zone as we do in Vietnam. Very, very important. We are waiting as soon as he does it. I will be able to bring that to you. I want your questions this morning. No matter how hard it is, somebody is already calling. Let us see who is on the line. The caller on the phone, can you hear me? The caller on the phone, can you hear me? Good morning to you. What is your name and where are you calling from? My name is Obi I'm calling from the state of Israel. From Israel, please. I hope the world is listening. If you have any questions, I promise I will ask you a question. Please go ahead. Yeah, definitely. I have two questions. As I've said already, my name is Obi Mane Chibike. I'm an Igbo man. But my leader, I have a fear about the concern of the Igbo man's domination. In fact, the fear of Igbo man's domination is fearing me. Is the, that is the fear is fearing me. And recently, you made this fear more to me when you said that the Biafra when restored, that we will adopt the UAE strategy or style of doing business. That if a Biafra, a Igbo Biafra, or any other region want to open a business in another region, that he has to register the business with the name of an indigenous of that region. That is a kind of combined business. Yes. Then my question is, is it not a limitation or like a marginalization to the people that like business like an Igbo man like me? That is my question. The second one is, uh, my leader, I want you to help me find out whether this is true. I heard that the BBO people once inherited the land that is presently known to be as Arochuku land. That the Arochuku people pushed them out of the land many years ago. This is my two questions, my leader. Thank you very much. Thank you. And I'll ask you to stay on the line. Don't go away. Stay on the line where you are. Uh, okay. Because I need to answer your question. First of all, you are where I get you in Israel. I mean, like a lot in Israel. A lot in Israel. Now, I yeah. want you to also, um, I want you to answer the question you have asked. I think sometimes that is the best way to learn. I want to encourage you to answer the same question you have asked. Now, okay. are you conversant with the UAE business model of making sure that an indigenous part and parcel of a business before it can function properly in UAE. Are you aware of that? Are you aware of that? Are you conversant with it? No, I'm not. I heard it first from you. Okay. How it works is that let's say you are an Igbo man and you want to do business in a zone in a job. You have to get an a job person to partner in that very business. It is the same system that they run in the UAE. And if I may ask you, do you think that UAE is successful? Economy very wise, successful. do you think that's successful? Very successful. Yes, you, sir. you said very successful. Do yes. you also agree with me that it is good to copy something that is successful? Yes, very important. Then that is why we are copying it because we have a lot of enemies all over the place, and those enemies are going to go to our own brothers and sisters, our cousins, if you go to the region of Africa and say to them, An evil man will dominate you. And some of them are bound to listen. That is, it is human nature. That is the way some of us are. And in order to stop that, what we are trying to do is to preempt. We want to preempt problems before they emerge. We want to be able to go to the constitution of Biafra to tackle every known problem. Perhaps our legislature or our parliament in time to come will be able to deal with future problems. But for now, we understand what the foundational problems, so to speak, are. 
and we wish to address them. And that is exactly what we are going to do. Regarding, is that very clear? Do you understand that? Have I made sense to you? Or you're still not clear? Is it very clear? Very good. Now, what we intend to do is this. We are going to run a business model that will guarantee every indigenous person a stake in the growth of the economy of the area where he or she comes from. Because if it works in the UAE, it will also work in the land of Biafra. So we want to remove every vestige, every accusation, every quotation. We want to remove any and everything that will give the impression that anybody from anywhere is going to donate anybody. That is not going to happen. Not now, not tomorrow, not ever. That's number one. About if you people who inhabit the present area of Arochubu, as I said before, there are there are three waves of immigrants into our land. The first way, the 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 Igbo people, the ancient the Django people, the Guinea people, those that they call Guinea people, very old, those that started the processing of palm oil before any other person came into it. They inhabited our land, and the first migration came from Egypt settled in at the confluence of Omambala River. That is where you have the house of Eri. Eri, all the way to Oweri. And then after the Assyrians invaded Samaria, northern kingdom of Israel, the second wave then arrived through, the Soda, through Egypt, Sudan, Ethiopia, Central African Republic, northern Cameroons, and into the land of Israel. And we have done extensive research which I have put on my page as well. The reason why you have the kingdom of Biafra that couldn't have come from any white man or from anybody else. It is a kingdom recognized and noted on historical books and also on maps to boot. Now, there are where the young people where we are and the ancient, the old people. So as these new migrants started to to settle towards the sea, the further the Asian, the further the owner, oh, I wouldn't call them owners of the land, I will call them the, the further the indigenous populations went. So that was what happened. If you said Arab Chubu, perhaps it would have been right. I'm sorry, if you said half year, perhaps it would have been right. Because the half the people that you see today, they came from Ahaba. They are themselves from where you call Asaba today. And when they were migrating to where Ohafia is today, they stopped in Ibeku, in my clan, in my village. And we have one of them. That is why an Ohafia person always regards an Ibeku man as his brother and can never fight him or do anything that would draw blood from him. Even if you listen to the war dance, um, um, predominantly from Ohafia, you will hear them when they're singing. That them and the Ibeku people are war because the Ibeku housed them before they were where they were. And of course, when they went to Ohafia, there were Ekoi people who were there and they were moved in a little bit to accommodate Ohafia people. That is the history of Ohafia people. But insofar as Arachuku is concerned, Arachuku came as part of the second wave that came the house of Manasseh and the house of Ephraim. From the red path of Israel in the north, in Samaria, where incidentally I stay one time in Israel. And it came, which is Imo and Abia more or less, and built the temple to the most high. That's the way it is. That is the priestly clan that we had the same way in the house of Levites. That is where why anywhere you go to in Igbo land and you have people answering Uchupu. If you go back in history, you see that they're all from Arochubu, the children of God, the house of Levi, more or less, that we have in our land. A lot of people get confused about this. I, I, I read over some of us having a debate about this very issue. Some said that, oh, how can you say we are from... I'm saying all these things because of the question that. How can you say that we are from Israel? 
Some say don't know we are not Jews. We can never be. We are not saying that everybody is. But there is something that will be posted this very morning on my page in a short while. Please can um, the person who is responsible post on my page, please. It is about the flag that the British had. The flag of the Governor General of Nigeria. If you read up on it, it's very simple and clear. There you will see the Star of David, gotten from Umwiri, from Aguleri to be precise. That was why the British put it there on the flag. The same Star of David that you see on the flag of Israel where you are. So that is our history, that is who we are. I don't want people to get confused. You can decide or claim to be an original Igbo, Ndibo, the ancient. Remember that we are mixed marriages, just say intermarriages and diffusion of cultures. You can say you are descended directly from the house of God via Umweri, via Oraeri, via Oweeri. The capital of the today, Oweri. Oweeri is called, which shows their lineage and their descendancy from the Eri part. And then you have the house of Manasseh and Ephraim going all the way to Asa. You talk about the name Asa as well. That, that I'm going to teach that one. Asa in Abia state. Asa also was part of the migration that came down. The same way you have Asa today in Abia state. Part of the migration from the land of Israel. So that's how we are. We are three people in one. Thank you very much for calling. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Our lines are open. Who is on the line? Your name and where you're calling from, please. Hello, sir. My name is Mike. I'm calling from Russia. Um, the heart of the indigenous people of Biafra. Sir, I want to recommend something for Biafra, where Biafra comes. We need to create two types of prison in Biafra land. One for people for who commit crimes and one for people who cannot prison properly. Because we have a serious... <laughs> in Biafra land, you're, sorry, hold on, hold on. You're coming from Russia yes. and you're recommending in Biafra land we're going to have two prisons. One for those who have committed crime and one for those who cannot reason properly. Yes, sir. <laughs> I came here to Russia when I was like a young boy, like 19. I've been here and I see the way normal people live in a country. I see the way a society is being created. I see the way people decide to develop their own land and with pleasure and with happiness. And I wonder why can't our people, be, our people, our, our leaders, our social people, we have only one place to go. Why can't they walk hard to make our place? We don't they travel, I don't they see these things outside this in the other in, in this part of the world? Why can't they decide to make our place as beautiful like this? I've been here for a couple of times and I'm like, we are not thinking properly. And if you have comes, we need to make a prison for people to go who cannot reason properly. When you when you can reason properly, you'll be charged to court and taken there so that you'll be able to work on your brain. Because we need normal and sensitive people in Biafra land when Biafra come. I, I agree with you, but and not you, you thank you. What we are going to do is to teach people we are not going to block anybody up. That is exactly what we are trying to do now to get everybody's consciousness to be at a particular level. Not necessarily, I would say, to agree with what each other is saying, but to be able to interrogate what you hear, to be able to question what you hear, to be able to hold people to account. Those are some of the, the civic education we are carrying out, or should I say we are conducting on Radio Biafra. We want to get our people to reason properly, because if we cannot reason properly, there is no way we can sustain any meaningful nation that may lay a claim to being civilized. These are the things we ought to understand. And I do thank you very, very much for calling. There will be prison for criminals, but there will be no prison for those who cannot reason properly. We will continue to teach them until they learn. Go ahead. 
And so, and finally, I want to make a lastly recommendation. So I have been um, into some part of intelligence gathering, and I think in Biafra land we have to um, train almost. We have to train young Biafrans to be able to have a skill of, um, like, for example, our enemies know who they are, and those people who can be able to penetrate into them who knows how to speak their language, who knows everything about them, because we don't need them to come to us. We don't need them to set them in. Like, I have, like, I have been in Russia and I've known... Now, now, listen, what we're going to do... Is, hold on, I, I understand because of where you are, you are conditioned by your environment. You are highly conscious. You are highly aware of what is happening around you. What we are now going to do in Biafra land is to build our systems, our governance and our structure to be able to impart that level of awareness and consciousness in people as well. So the way it is in Russia and in every other civilized nation around the world, so shall it be in the land of Biafra. And I thank you very much for calling. I thank you very, very much for calling. We have another caller on the phone. Your name and where you're calling from, please. No, they're no longer there. The caller on the phone, can you hear me? Yes, please, your name and where you're calling from. Yeah, this is Ferdinand. This is Ferdinand. I'm calling from the Philippines. From the Philippines. Please go ahead. I'm calling from the Philippines. Please okay. go ahead. Uh, that, is what I want to, that is what I want to ask. Like, uh, if that, uh, they give us Biafra now, as they are agree to have a referendum, I want to know, is everyone going to come back home for the referendum, or is there any way people from outside can vote no referendum will be for those who are at home i am not sure if they will allow to voting that may be an option and we are seriously going to converse for that but normally referendum will be done or place beside those who are at home only for those who are at home that's okay, my understanding thank you, that's what I want to thank you very much thank you very much for calling we have another caller on the line. Your name and where you are calling from, please. The caller on the phone, I won't ask you again for the second time. Your name and where you are calling from. My name, my name is Uche Udeze. I am calling from Republic of Ireland. Republic of Ireland. We are being listened to all over the world. The whole world. The Philippines, Russia, Israel, everywhere. Please go ahead. And now, Ireland. Go ahead, please. My Mazi, good, ma good morning. May God bless you. May Chukwo Kikabi Ama keep you to Biafra come. Mazi Biko, the only question I want to ask you this morning is, there has been a lot of problem in IPOB families and people are being sent away from IPOB because of one reason or the other. I am asking this question, and a lot of people do not want to join IPOB because of protocol, hierarchy, how people are being treated in IPOB. How do we deal with this situation? How are we going to correct this if Biafra come? Because it is going to still be the same way in Nigeria is being done that people are bringing into IPOB family. IPOB family is to be one family, one love. If anybody does anything wrong, people will come together and correct him or her. But I've seen people, I've seen cackles, I've seen circles in IPOB, and people are using it to intimidate other people, telling people that they will throw them out. And as far as I remember, we are all different. We are all IPOB. IPOB is indigenous people of Biafra. I am born in Anambra State. My five generation is from Ibo land, which, which originally entitles me to be a Biafra. Yes. So why does somebody intimidate me because of hierarchy? Only another thing I want to say is, please do something with the leaders. The leaders of IPOB, they, some of them are using the power that has been given to them to intimidate others. Please do something because they are chasing people away. If they chase people away, who is going to achieve Biafra? I have four teenage boys in my house. One is going to college this year. My promise is that he is going to go to college and tell them about Biafra. 
because Thailand is a major country to Biafra. We must speak about Biafra in our college. If we send these people away, when there is need, who will go home to do these things? I have four teenage boys. I am ready to bring out these four teenage boys to work, to fight until Biafra is actualized. But we have to be given the opportunity to do this. We cannot be sent away intimidated because, because maybe we are not in the group or in the gang or in whatever. Only please, I'm asking you this morning, how are you going to curtail this? How are you going to work to sensitize people, to start doing things right, to stop gossiping about other people, sending people away from IPA, lying against people for what they have not done, just because they want to get them out of the picture. And these are people who are hungry, who wants to, who wants to do everything to make sure that Biafra is actualized. Remember, remember again, Onisi, Ireland is a big, a big space that we can venture. But yes. if we keep doing these things, how do we venture? I know the, the, chairman, the chairman of um, Irish Red Cross. I work as a volunteer with Irish Red Cross from 2011 till this minute. I'm a life member with them. They are open to us. They are ever ready to accept us. But we are not ready to do that. Instead, we are fighting ourselves. Onisi, please, I want you to comment on this. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. Th thank, thank you. Me. Thank you very, very much. Um, are you part of the family as we speak? Are you part of the IPOB family in Ireland, where you are? Onisi, I used to be part of the family in Ireland. But there was big problem. There was lie. You know, as a woman, the only thing that you'll be chased away with, Ashawo, um, um, she's sleeping with this person's husband, she's sleeping. And once you hear that, you pick up your slippers. Of course. Um, I want you, to say, I want to say, I want to say this to you. And of course, to the hearing of all our principal officers all over the whole world. We would not tolerate because any any behavior or conduct we exhibit right now, in all likelihood, we will take that into a new nation of Biafra, and exactly. I wouldn't want a situation whereby people build cabals. I've said this to them before. I have no friends and I have no enemies. That is why I speak truth to anybody that I come across. I do not gossip. I do not chat behind anybody's back. If I have anything against you, I will tell you to your face. Now, this is the type of behavior I would like all our principal officers to inculcate. And I'm sure that our DOS and all frontline officers those that I come into contact with, they do not and will not encourage the building of cabal or the destruction of anybody's image. And if you have suffered that, then it is sad and regrettable. I will ask Isaiah Oba and all those who are in Ireland and our leadership to find out what went wrong. I have taken down your number. And we are going to get back to you. I will get back to you to explain to you the rationale behind whatever you may have encountered and also to reassure you that going forward, such nonsense will no longer be obtainable in IPOB. Nobody will intimidate anybody. I want you to intimidate people with what you have accomplished. I want you to tell people what they can do for Biafra. Not to drive anybody away because you think somebody exactly. is more intelligent than you, and if they come, they're going to overshadow you. I want somebody who is more intelligent than me to actually come out and take over this reign so I can rest for a little bit at least. And then I have not been able to see any. So, what we need to do is this we must remain resolute. Nobody is driving anybody away. We are all indigenous people of Biafra. The only thing that will excuse you from any Biafran gathering is if you are working for the enemy, if you're a saboteur, if you have come to spoil what you're doing. But as long as you have good intentions, I can sit down with you and debate from now till that kingdom come. I am never ever going to hate you for holding a contrary view to that which I hold. I am never ever going to despise you if I feel or think that you are more articulate than I am. In fact, I will admire you. Because we must look at other people the way people do things in the Western world. When somebody is very good, my team, Liverpool, of course, I support Rangers. Rangers is number one, and Liverpool is number two. Rangers is number two. When Liverpool just won the league yesterday, but I'm sure Liverpool will be going out looking for people who are better players or should I say good players to make them even better come the next season. So that is why anytime I encounter any 
Biafran, who understands what we are doing, is very intelligent. I want them to be part of the leadership. That is not going to change. I because only committed, dedicated, intelligent people can make a difference. And I thank you for this. And it will no longer happen. I can assure you. I will take up your case and I will come back to you before next week. Before seven days runs out, to be honest with you, to let you understand precisely what transpired and to reassure you that it won't happen again. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much you. for calling. God bless you. Thank you. Me. Our lines are open. If you call us, we'll be able to take a call. Of course, a people are calling, and I, I pray that this line will not be jammed today because normally the calls are so numerous. But somebody sent a question. Um, somebody sent a question. Nedum sent a question on uh, via WhatsApp message, and his question is very, very simple. His question is, the way Fulanis are behaving and their hatred for Biafra, this is from Nedum, see Nedum, it is likely that they may detonate chemical or nuclear weapons in Biafra land once Biafra is, is declared by United, by United Nations or if Biafra marches against Nigeria, as we say. From my observation, instead of Fulani to allow Biafra to go, they will prefer for everybody to die. My question is, what protective mechanisms or precautionary measures are we taking to protect ourselves? We are taking precaution. We are doing all we can to protect our people. And that is the best we can do for now. Because honestly speaking, we cannot cater for every eventuality. We have done what we can. We know that eventually we are going to prevail. And that is what we are hoping and count on. We have a caller on the line. Can you hear me? For the last time, the caller on the line, can you hear me? No, they cannot hear me. I am going to take another call. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Your name and where you're calling from? Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. I want to have your name and where you're calling from. My name. Your name is what? Oh dear me, the calls are just way too numerous. Too much, too much, too much, way too much. Just hold on a second, please. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Yes, please. Your name and where you're calling from, this is amazing, amazing stuff. Even the number of calls coming in wouldn't even allow me to pick the call. Unbelievable. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Yes, good morning, my sister. Good morning. And where are you calling from? Your name, please. I'm calling from my uh, the owner. You're calling from where? My name is on the honor I'm coming from Medugri. From Medugri? Please go ahead. Someone from Medugri, go ahead. Yes, are you hearing me? I will hear, I will say it for the final time. Yes, go ahead. We are hearing you. Go ahead. Okay, I... The caller on the phone, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Please, your name and where you're calling from? My name is Faith Ogala, Freedom Fighter. Yes, Faith, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Italy, Genova. From from, oh, from Genova in Italy. Thank you very much. You're welcome to the program. Please go ahead. Thank you, sir. Marge, I don't have any question. I just want to say, may Chuko Kika Biyama bless you. I, that is, I'm so overwhelmed this morning to hear from you. I, that is, oh, Madike, may Chuko Kika Biyama bless you. Thank you for everything you have been doing for us. Thank you so much. Thank Through you, my dear you, sister. I know 100% that I am Biafra. Biafra, Agbo Biafra. My mother, I grew up to see my mother wearing two pieces of wrapper. Yes. I grew up to see all our women, all our mothers, in the in the uh, neighboring hood, uh, tied to rappers. Even my auntie in tomorrow she's still tied to rapper. Yes. So thank you, my uh, oh my DK. 
Thank, Thank you. you. I can hear your voice. My God. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you, my Thank dear you. sister. God. Thank you very, very much. I'm a Chukoki Kabi. I'm a bless you too. She is from, she's an Igbo woman from Abo. They have spent billions trying to convince them, even possibly converting some of them as we speak to Islam. That is where Loretta Onoche comes from, the supplier of prostitutes to, to Asorok. That was why they engaged her. She's an expert human trafficker, Loretta Onoche. She is from Anyoma, which is the Igbo speaking, the, the Igbos who are in Delta. They spent a lot of money trying to convince them that they are not Biafran people, that they are not even Igbo. But I'm happy and I'm glad that we are now coming back to our senses. We now understand who we are. And Elohim is in charge in heaven. And the truth is going very far, isn't it? One thing that God gave us, the way our mothers dress, solved all that problem. Ever since, have you heard them talking rubbish? Of course, there are some people who claim that they are from the, uh, a darkened delta inside darkness itself. That means double darkness. Double darkness. But we are not going to have any regard for them. We are marching on relentlessly. We are marching on relentlessly. Our lines keeps <laughs> crashing is untrue. Absolutely untrue. Because there are many people who are calling us. Many of them are calling. So many people are calling us. Please, that is why our, our lines keeps crashing. Ben Opulehi lives in Aba. I want to ask this. Our governors, what are we going to do when Biafra is restored? There will be citizens of Biafra, those of them who are good. If any of them committed any crime, will be of investigation and, of course, um, prosecution, that will be the portion. Because Biafra will embrace anybody. That is not about vendetta, it's not about witch hunt. Everybody will participate and be part and be given the opportunity to contribute to this very exciting new nation of ours. We are not excluding anybody. We don't intend to exclude anybody. Anybody who wants to be a part of Biafra will be a part of Biafra. Our lines are so clogged up that it's even the phones are crashing. It's unbelievable. Even the phone, I'm, I'm using an iPhone, it has refused to, to, to function. We have a caller on the line. Please, your name, where you're calling from? Good morning. Good morning to you, please. Your name and where you are calling from? My name is Mr. Wild Jonathan. I'm calling from Cape Town, South Africa. From Cape Town, South Africa, only on Radio Biafra. The whole world is listening. Please go ahead. Um, it is, uh, I'm, the, I'm a first time caller. Um, I want to say thank you very much. Uh, Namtikano, it, you've been a, you've been a, an inspiration to the upcoming generation because I, I must tell you to be honest, I've been, I've been following you up online right from when you were in London before you came to Nigeria officially to declare um, your agitation, and even at the point in time when the um, um, they, they instructed the, the the soldiers to come to your house in um, <clears throat> in Abia State that um, they, they came there to shoot. Um, but one thing I want to say, you've been doing a very good job, and, and, I want, and it's only God in heaven that will strengthen you, because at this point in time, I am glad that when they came to your house to shoot, that you, you managed to, you know, make your way, because I must tell you the truth, the government, the, 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 the full and name, they want to kill themselves, not you. But they can never kill you. If you are a God sent, they can never kill you. You so, are you are you sick. And then we die at the end of the day. What I want to say is whatever we need to do, because the country needs to break up because there is nothing no system that is working. Imagine even here in um, in Cape Town, as a as in Nigeria, if you're pregnant, if you're pregnant and you go to the hospital and and, and, and unfortunately the doctor recommends that you have to 
go through a, a C and S, you understand, for, for delivery. Yes. I'm telling you, my brother, that it will be done for free of charge. Things that are not done at home. Imagine if a woman in labor goes to the hospital and at a point in time, it was um, the, the doctor prescribed that she had to go C and S. We're talking about 500000 We're talking about 300000 We're talking about huge amount of money. Who, and the person does not have it. And Nigerian doctors are so weak that if they don't have the money, they will have to look at the person to die out of labor. You see, we are more, we have much, you see, we're traveling abroad. We're going out diaspora. It is not like we have the intention to go there. If things are working at home, what will make someone go there? If things like what is working, if there's an electricity, I was I was I was back home um, um, okay um, last year. I thought things have changed. I didn't know that things have come from back to us. The whole roads that I know that was initially you know uh, um, a bit better has has come from better to worst. Not yes. even normally things go from better and good better to the best. But yes. things are not working. And the only way we can do this is to break up. If there's any petition, what I'm trying to say, Bazi, if there's any petition, we should be signing in order to, to, to uh, you know, to spread the global uh, attention that we should be, uh, you, you, should, you should drop the file on your, your page so that we could be able to sign it. Because there are some, there are some, um, 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 uh, what, what does it say? There are some um, 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 agitation, people that are agitated, some people like it. My um, general, um, um, media, and they are linked to certain. I think I think all I want is a referendum to break up in that country because from what I see, that nothing will work. For the fact that nothing has worked for the past 60 years, nothing will definitely work because they are only using uh, uh, blindfolding as in deceiving to tell us when they come, they say, okay, we'll give you light. We'll give you electricity, we'll give you a job, we'll give you this, we'll give you this. But at the end of the day, when they come, they forget about all their promises. And there is nothing to do. And finally, I want to I want to, 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 uh, to bless you and your family, to protect you. And the Lord will strengthen you on onto this um, journey and we will get it by, by, by the special grace of God. He said, Amen. He said, thank you very much for calling. They are deceived. Because we allowed them to get away with murder. When they tell you about non-violent agitation and all the rest of it, for you to be peaceful, for you to love God and for God to love you, the same people that gave you the Bible did not tell you there were revolutions across Europe, even in America, before they built the type of society that they have today. That's when they, they never teach you that. Once you allow people who are corrupt to get away with corruption, corruption can only multiply. That is why we do things the way we do it. Anywhere we see any injustice or something is going wrong, we nip it in the bud. You may go away and, and, and create 10,000 Facebook accounts to be talking rubbish. That is your business. Because we want Biafra to be pure. And in Biafra land, believe you me, there will be free hospital treatment for at least emergency cases because we will have what is called universal insurance. Everybody will pay into it so that when you're sick, you go to the hospital and get, we know what to do. Everybody knows that we know what to do. It is that we are not being given the opportunity to be able to showcase what we can do. I have a caller waiting on the other line. Your name and where you're calling from, please, if you may. Good morning to you. Let me see if I, yes, please, your name and where you're calling from. Thank you very much, Mazi. Uh, my name is Chidera. I call you from South Africa, sir. The same South Africa. Please go ahead. The world is listening. Go ahead. Thank you very much. Oh, my dear. Hey, Chidera. 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 Hey, the name called uh, Nigeria. This recent thing that you have taught us, as many which you have taught us, that the, the, the meaning is Negro. Now we have followed it, understand it, even in the. It's actually nigger, nigger, not even Negro. Niga. It is nigger, nigger. Yeah. Okay, nigger, sir. Yeah. And
We have seen black people fighting all over the, that particular when they call that name. Yes. So my question to you, sir, this morning, sir, how did the Nigeria, that Liga, come up with the giant of Africa? That is number one. How did they come up with that name, giant? Because I don't know anything giant about this. Is it by looting or by <laughs> wickedness or by what? How did they come up with that particular name, giant? <laughs> As you have taught us, you really want to know the, how did they come up with that name. That's my number one question, sir. Yes. Number two question to you, sir. That's the one that is bothering me so much. I really want you to assist me in this particular one. BTV. Sir, I'm in uh, Pawolo, part of the media team for Biafra. Yes. And um, I, I've been attending meetings for BTV, the collection of the media. And uh, I must be honest with you, I know my colleagues may say, why did I come up open? But we are stretched, not by, it seems like there are certain things bothering us and we don't have a solution. And um, I have to ask you, sir, how do we make BTV viable? Because even if it's a YouTube... Don't, don't go too far. Don't, don't go too far. Okay. Don't go, we are doing something. You're in South Africa, is that correct? Yes, sir. Uh, don't worry. We'll just wait and see. What, we'll just watch and see what's going to happen to BTV. Okay, sir. BTV okay, will be the most popular television station in the whole of Africa. Amen. So don't worry Amen. about that. We know what we're doing. Oh. We know what... Okay. You see, the thing about this generation is that we understand we are our fathers made them, not them. They were forced into making some mistakes in 1970 because they never prepared. Now we have to prepare. And we are yes. going to do it slightly differently and you'll see the result. BV yes. will be the most watched television station in the world. I didn't say in Biafra land or in Nigeria or in West Africa. I said the whole of Africa, BTV will be number one very soon. Yes. As Radio Biafra is all over the world right now. Yes. 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 Go ahead. Your third okay. question. I've answered the second one. The, I will answer the first yeah. one. I've answered the second. Third okay. one, please. The third one is uh, about three weeks or so ago on your broadcast, sir. You said there will be a call who will come from somewhere to the elders. Now you are aware that we don't have an elder. So I hope you have the right number to give whoever that will call. Because <laughs> if that number goes to Nayangud, you know the answer. So I hope you know the particular, and whoever that will call that number, know. Because when you use that word, the elder, some people will be doing press up, thinking they are elder. You know we don't have elder. I hope that you are one of that. If you say elder, you are the only elder we know. But you know is our elder. If you don't know them as elder, we don't know them too. So that's my question, sir. Thank you very much. And it will not happen. I know the numbers that we gave. Those that we referred to people who were asking. In America, we gave them the telephone numbers of men of honor and integrity, those who would knock us out. Um, yes, we cannot go to Ohaneze or go to Mudo after killing us. They want us to go to him. What is he going to do for us? He's not going to do anything for us. And coming yes. to your first question, the only way that Nigeria, Nigeria became the giant of Africa was because of the oil and gas coming from Biafra land. And they wanted to give us the impression that this is the most populous black nation in the world because they were hiding something. The British were hiding something. They were using Nigeria darkness, the darkness, to cover light, which is Biafra. It's just a game that they're playing. Because I've said this for, for over, for nearly 10 years now. They believe, some people, those in the occult realm, they believe that the coming of Biafra will signify the end of the world, as you know it. Yes. So they had to bring that to the media to give it to, to an area encompassing also Biafran people so that they are thinking that darkness will suppress the light. That is why in a place where you have Biafra, which is light, you have the name Niger over it. And I tell you, the giant of Africa, everybody knows it is useless. Go and look at the list of the fastest rate economy in Africa. They didn't even make the 11th position. That is how useless they are. But as, 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 as um, forces of darkness are working over time, so also is Satan himself. They are working over time to blind our people to the truth and to the reality. Nigeria is not a giant, has never been a giant, and will never be a giant. It is a complete yes. and absolute failure. Thank you very much for calling. BTV is going to be very strong all over the world. That the world will know 
how powerful and how determined we are. They are playing with us. They have no idea who we are. And we are going to shock them. We are going to shock them. We are alive. You cannot drop the line, please. You may drop the line if you may. You may drop the line if you may. Thank you very much for calling this. Does it mean the iPhone is not that strong or what? Every thing will just crash. Every just just multiple calls coming in and, and it, it crashes. That is that is dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. All fancy. Expensive and fancy for, for no reason. Unbelievable. I'm, I'm disappointed in iPhone. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Your name and where you're calling from, if you may. Can you hear me? Turn your system down. Turn your system down. You call us back. I have no time to waste. Turn your system down if you want to call us. I have a caller on the phone. Can you hear me? The caller on the phone. Can you hear me? The call has failed. The call has failed. Honestly speaking, I am disappointed in iPhone. Heavily disappointed. The caller on the phone. Can you hear me? Then your name and where you're calling from. Good, good morning. My name is Onajite Hiko. And where are you calling from? Yeah. I'm calling from Germany. And where are you from? Back in... I can hear you. Where are you from back home? I know you're calling from Germany, but where do you come from? Your village. Okay, I am from... I am Urobo. Uh, partly Urobo and partly it just Biafra. Wonderful. Please go ahead. The world is listening. Go ahead. Um, Marcy. Um, I actually want to appreciate what you have been doing for us. And um, I want to appreciate the, the leaders of our, of, um, of our people. That is uh, the leader of IPOB, IPOB leadership. I want to appreciate them also for bringing us together and for making everyone of us, especially we from the coastal part, for we to realize who we are, for we to realize our background, for we to realize our identity. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very, very much, and thank you for calling. This is the type of calls I want to take. We are all Biafran people. The caller on the phone, can you hear me? Your name and where you're calling from, if you may, please. I'm calling from, my name is Okjuku uh, Naloma. I'm calling from Indonesia. From Indonesia, the whole world is listening. Chineke, my name is better. Please go ahead. The uh, world now listen uh, to you. Uh, go ahead. Uh, uh, I'm very, very happy to hear your voice and uh, also speaking directly to you today for being there for us and uh, making us to know who we are. Also to open our eyes and to make the whole world to know what we are passing through over the over there in Nigeria. Well, you are in Indonesia now, is that correct? Were you part of those that uh, brought that useless zoological, the zoo and embassy down yesterday? Because I commended them. Well, uh, we are uh, I, we are trying to join up uh, to on that movement, but uh, in our group uh, on IPOP, uh, we have an order to not to join that uh, movement because uh, we are not permitted to do so. Uh, but uh, everything that happened, uh, yeah, I know all about it. Very good, very very good. Because I commended those of them that went out there to do this marvelous work, marvelous marvelous work. Because as I speak, the zoo is collapsing. They are the laughing stock of the of the whole world. They are. Thank you very much for calling. I thank you for calling. Yeah. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have. We, are we going? Of course, we do. The caller on the phone. Can you hear me? Your name. Where you're coming from? The caller on the phone. I've taken your call. Your name and where you're calling from. What is your name and where are you calling from? Yeah, my name is Mad I'm coming from Libya. From Libya. Please go ahead. The world is listening. Yes. Go ahead. I'm the, I'm the National Financial Secretary in Libya. I hope you are not involved in the trafficking of women, as some idiots who are in Turkey are doing. God forbid, Mazi. God forbid. Thank you I'm very much. Such a business, please. Thank you very much. Please go ahead. Mazi, Mazi, I really thank you for what you have been doing, but please allow me to call you this name. 
I want to go beyond from like I do to some of my friends that you are a God sent. You are sent Marze now the Carlo. Thank you, thank you. Please go ahead. So, sir, please. I really thank you and I really thank God for God giving us somebody like you. So, please, my contribution is what is happening in the zoo. Men are falling. So, my brother, please, what can we do to save our brothers in the zoo? We are doing. Yeah. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. I understand what people are passing through you speak in a minute. Um, what we are doing, we are not going to make public because once you make it public, there are desperate people. There are those who we are fathered by Fulani people during the war. There are those who don't, you know, there is paternity test now all over the place. That's the new craze, paternity test. If we conduct a DNA test in our land, you will find out that 100% of every saboteur and those that will carry our information to the enemy, they will be fathered by people who are not, their father is not Biafra. I'm telling you the truth. So that's the way it is. Once we make it public, what we are going to do, believe you me, some people will go out and start um, um, seeking to make money of it. If people like Ohaneze, who seemingly are well-fed people, so they claim, can be traitors and saboteurs, uh, how much, you know, less, I should say, about people who are hungry. So we have to be very, very careful. Please go ahead and continue what you were saying. Okay, sir. So, please, I, I believe that Biafra is worth dying for. So, because wherever, he and there, and actually, let me speak it in Nibo language, because I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I and Dugu, let me, let me call, not call him Dugu, I and the Fulani, I and I believe very soon in Haga for one year. And the I will men here be ready anytime, any day. Because Hana Jumana Simona, Omunaya Nebu, Yellow, he had I will be here for more something like, um, let's assume for tears, a bar, that that men here, and so many were men who will be like, let me not speak mind of every other person, let me speak my mind. Anytime, any day, oh, say, dear, I'm ready to die for Biafra. I'm ready to turn on the work here now because even if they're men are the front and they won't, at times, I, I, I don't like watching because me, you have to say, that's not a platform because once I'm watching it, I will be sharing tears. The other day, I'm watching this woman and every child. Somebody, somebody's sister, our sister, for God's sake. So, you end your people, I will have, Biafra is worth dying for. Just wait, wait, wait where you are. Wait where you are for a minute. Stay, where you are. Stay on the line for a minute because it is very, very important that we get to the bottom of this. Now, there are people who are saying, work with the governors, work with Ohaneze, work with Pande, work with everybody, do this and do that. Now, I'm asking you a question. In which part of the world will you have elders and one of their daughters will be butchered? Have body parts strewn all over the place. Yet they have not said anything. Yet there is no single word of condemnation of what the families have done. Instead they are giving them land. Instead they are selling land to them to continue the killing, the raping of our own mothers. Defiling our land, defiling our mothers. I don't understand it. I have never seen such useless set of people ever in my life. And these are the people that you want the noble IPOB to work with. People that when their own daughters are being raped and butchered, out of cowardice, they say nothing. And if you rise up to do something, they will connive with the enemy to kill you. What sort of men are these, I ask? Can you the anchor become? I, I, that, so you, I don't sleep at night. I keep pondering and pondering. I keep asking, where, where, where did God get these people from? And put them in our land. From where did the likes of Onia Wodo come from? That your own daughter is being killed. Not just raped and killed. But her body dismembered. They cut off her leg. They cut out her breast. Strewn it all over the place. And you claim you are an elder. Oh my God in heaven. These people, these people don't deserve to live. I'm telling you. They don't deserve to live. Honestly. 
Honestly, my son, we have no elders in Neverland. I have to tell you the truth. Honestly, we have no elders. But the only, the only, the only love they have that we are just waiting for you to give. You are going to last us for one week or two weeks. You go there. You go there. I I go to the female for two weeks. Can I go to the other man? At least we start from that. Our we start from our elders. If you know, I'm not going to the female. Can I be the one that elders? Are you going to not two weeks? You go there. Come on, dear. I'm going to leave this Libya down to Biafra land because my, my land worth dying for. I'm not happy anymore. It's very, very sad. Very, very, very sad indeed. Very, very sad indeed. Extremely sad. Extremely sad. There are people who are calling, who are calling and calling. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for calling. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very much. There are some people, if the lines permit, there are some people I'm going to have to call myself. Let me take this call. The caller on the phone, can you hear me? The world is listening. He is not serious. He is not serious. Not at all. There are some people that I may have to call. There are some people that I may have to call. But I'm so disappointed with iPhone. Honestly, it's just rubbish. iPhone is just name. Pure rubbish. I'm telling you. Pure nonsense. It doesn't do the work it's supposed to do. It's all hype and name. It doesn't do nothing. Absolutely nothing. Please, we I want to be able to return certain calls. Please do bear with me. I want to be able to return. Unbelievable. What is this? Oh my goodness. It is everywhere. It is everywhere. People, they call the amount of calls coming in is just way too way too much they call on the phone for the, for the last time the caller on the phone can you hear me Hello? yes your name and where you're calling from i can hear you your name and where you're calling from please can you hear me no. she cannot hear me unfortunately she is not able to hear me she's not able to hear me i the calls are so numerous that i cannot i cannot for the life of me be able to tell that even this i don't know what else to do to be honest because the calls are just flooding in and it's not even it, the system the the iphone itself can, can't even cope can't cope the call on the phone can you hear me yeah, I can hear you. My name is Mwa from India. Raise, please walk away from your system. Walk away from your system, please. And speak to us. My name is Mwa from I'm calling from India. Then go ahead, please. Yeah, I can hear you. No, he is listening via his system. And that is very sad. It's a no-no for us. Once you do that, you're finished. You're gone. We won't talk to you again. The caller on the phone, your name and where you're calling from, please. No. They are still they are still waiting to hear their own voice. Unbelievable. The caller on the phone, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. What is your name and where you're calling from? Stop waiting to listen from your system. Okay, I'm calling from India. My name is Mark from Miracle. Yes, go ahead. Oh, yeah, I mean. And that ends. Let me take this call. The caller on the phone can you hear me. The caller on the phone can you hear me? They are all waiting. Everybody is waiting for their voice to come out. They want to hear it on their system before before they can. Oh no, I shouldn't have. Let me go back to this very caller and get them to to try to speak to us if they are serious. The caller on the phone, can you hear me? Yeah, hello. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Chief. My great leader. Please, good morning. My name is Ifani. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, my, my name is Ifani. My name is Ifani Chuku Ojuku. I reside in Libya, Benghazi. I'm National Zona Coordinator of Benghazi, Libya, sir. Thank you very much. Please go ahead. Sir, I really thank you, and I pray that Chuku Kabjama will keep on blessing you for the good work here between for us. You say I'm blessed. Sir, I have no question, but I just want to thank you so much because, in fact, I don't know what we would have done without you. We thank you so much. 
as I please, I want you to know that we in Libya, we IPOB, sir, we are really working hard in order to meet top with IPOB expectations, sir. Thank you very much, sir. May God keep on strengthening you and your family. He said, you he, said my he said, and Thank bless you, you too, bless you too. There are some people that I am going to call. There are some people when I call you with a different line, please. I, I, I feel sorry because there are so many callers on the line they can't get through. So if you're lucky, I will randomly pick out your number and I will call you. Please do not distribute this very number. Or maybe I can change it afterwards today at some point. Please, I am going to call some of you. I am going to call some of you. And when I do so, please do not give away nor distribute this very number. Because some of you, I can see, you want to get through, but you cannot. Some of our mothers want to get through, but they cannot. And we want to do something about it. It is very, very difficult. This is, this is the height of multitasking. Doing multiple things at the same time. I am trying to see if they can take the call. This one doesn't understand that I am one calling and the one calling i am going to say that this is radio Biafra, so they will know i'm the one calling so they can pick up they, can, they should stop trying very desperately to call let me take this very the caller on the line can you hear me the caller on the line can you hear me for the last time no they're wasting time the caller on the line can you hear me your name and where you're calling from Sir. Good morning to you. You are very sharp. I love people who are very sharp. Please, your name and where you're calling from. My name is Adekun Lechidebere. Adekun Lechidebere. Adekun Mabikonu. Adekun Le and Lechidebere. Is everything okay? Adekun Lechidebere. One person. Is is everything all right? <laughs> yeah, my dad is a uh, My mom oh. is from Anambra. Wonderful. May you go Kikabiama bless you. You're one of us. So when I say I have Yoruba cousins. Thank you very much. Please go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, very, I'm very happy to call you. I've been looking for a way to hear your voice. I won't see you. I'm very, very happy that we have our own people, our flesh and blood inside the Yoruba land. Thank you very much. Please go ahead. Um, please, uh, I want to ask some questions. Yes, go ahead. I don't know why uh, the issue of this Biafra. Yes, go ahead. Uh, hello? Yes, the caller on the line. Yes, yes, you go ahead. I'm listening. You go ahead. Sorry? Are you here with me, sir? I'm hearing you, Chile, but go ahead. I'm listening. Go ahead. Are you with me? I am listening to you. Go ahead. Uh, I don't know why. Chidebere, can you hear me? It's the Zoo Network. Zoo Network has taken place. I have a call on my on my other line. Please, your name and where you're calling from, if you may. Can you hear me? Good morning, sir. Good morning to you. Please, your name and where you're calling from? From Biafra Land. And what is your name? Thank you very much. Please go ahead. We are listening. Mother, I'm, so, I'm so happy to hear your voice. I'm so happy to thank you, to talk to you. I don't have any question. I'm just so enlightened. I'm just so happy. Oh, my God. <laughs> May God bless you. May God bless you. Thank you. May God bless you. I'm so it's happy it's for it's this it's morning. I'm so happy for all you do for us. I'm so happy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm so thank happy. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for calling. Our lines are open. All those questions. All those questions, I want to answer them today. I want to answer them. Your name and where you're calling from, the caller on the line, please. Can you hear me? Marzi. Yes, please. Good morning. Good morning to you. My name, I, I can hear you. My, my name is, good morning, Marzi. My name is Naidozi. We're calling from... Anambra, 
Jaffa land. Thank you very much. Go ahead. Mazi, I don't have any question. <laughs> Mazi, I love what you are doing. Thank you. He say, he say, he say, he say, he say, give you more strength, give you more insight, give you more understanding, give you more power. Jafra must come. There's nothing anybody can do about it. Bible said that get on her cannot prevail. We know we have many enemies. Enemies are in the west, are in the south, are in the north, they are everywhere. But the power of God is above all. May God protect you. I love you. I love you. I love your family. I love your standard. Thank you very Without much. Without you, I'm going to be sorry to call you by now. By now, I'm going to be sorry to call you by now. I'm going to be sorry to call you by now. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Mazi, in this course, you lost your father and your mother. What else again? May God bless you. Thank you so much. He said, thank you very, very much. Thank you very much. These are the type of people that every day when I wake up, I thank Chukwu Kikabiyama for them because they are conscientious. They understand. Good morning to you from here. Your name and where you're calling from, please. Uh, this is Omar from there. I'm calling from India, from the Boeing State. Yeah, you are from Ebony State. You are in India. Please go ahead. Okay, I want to say a very big thank you for your work. Your line is very faint. It's very, very faint. We cannot proceed. It is very, very faint. We cannot proceed. People are calling from all over the world. From all over the world, once you call, endeavor to turn down your system and listen to us. The caller on the phone, can you hear me? Good morning to you. Turn your system down, please. Turn it down. From Holland. From Holland, thank you very much. Go ahead. Yeah. You say? Yes, you our you should call one of our inquiry lines. Go to my page on Facebook. You scroll down, you will see the inquiry lines. And let me see if I have it here, right in front of me, so I can repeat it. This is the number to call if you wish to be part and parcel of IPOB family. It is very very straightforward. Do bear with me, and I will get it in a short while, and I'll give it to you. The number to call is plus six one. Basically, to be on my page, I'm going to post this on my page in a minute. The please can somebody post all the contact details and inquiry lines, please. Like, I'll give it to you anyway. Plus six one. Okay. Four three four. Six one. Four three four. Two nine. Four seven. Four seven. Four five. Four five. That is the number. Okay. Call that number and somebody will they will give you all the details of our coordinators, which we cannot make you know um, um open for the whole world to know live on air. And they will give it to you. You will call them and you go and join the family meeting in Holland. And once this whole corona restriction is over. I will be in Holland to preach this in a town hall meeting. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much for calling. And may Chukwoki Kabiyama continue to guide and sustain you. I want people to call to ask questions. Some people said that they are not Jewish. Not everybody is. Not all of us can be. Please. I've said it many times and I have the proof. To substantiate everything that I say, everything that I tell you is gospel, truth from heaven, not all of us. Some of us are from, uh, uh, wow, well, some of us are from Ijekebe, some are from Bende, some are from Ekoi, some are from Ejagam, some of 
because we have all these Anyama. Some of us, we come from different places in the land of Biafra. All we are in the world, we are in I have said it before, we are not one people. But Elohim brought us together under Biafra. That is why I said, even in Igbo language, if you talk about, I think I was, uh, 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 I saw something that was quite interesting um, on, on, on Facebook. People were, how would you greet somebody when you see, see them? Uh, some will say, get get uh, uh, we say, okay, how do we say it? Uh, or something of that sort. So, there are different people, you know, we speak the same language, but it means different things to different people. If you go to Soka and hear Soka people speaking, you won't understand them. If you come to my village and I'm speaking Ibek dialect, you won't understand me, I assure you. But in that little in that you have a homo. If a homo speaks deep, a homo, you will not be able to understand them. I want us to get this thing into. I don't want us to, to project our jealousy of the people into where they come from. No. If you want to know, in fact, I'm going to make it compulsory. That you, you everybody will visit Harajuku and everybody will go to Uwele and Agule. You must go to, to understand part of your history. After going to Umweri and Aguleri, I want you to go to Unri. And when you go to Unri, go and look for the Adama of Unri. These are the custodians of the truth. He is not Yezenri. No, I'm not saying that. These are men who are custodians, truthful men. Go to the Adama of Unri. And you know who you are. I don't want to get upset about this. We are Biafrans, friends. We are supposed to be reasonable. We are led by evidence, not sentiment, not greed, not envy, not jealousy. As an average IPOB person, you are led by the evidence in front of you. Incontrovertible. If we present something to you that you have difficulties or issues with, present a counter argument. When I want to demolish the zoo, I just don't say, oh, what they are doing is not true. No, I look for a superior counter argument to destroy whatever nonsense that I'm talking That's how we are going to debate in Libya. We're not going to debate like blind people. Oh, I don't agree. The question is, why don't you agree? You don't say, oh, I don't agree because I don't agree. It makes no sense. We want to be able to learn here. Maybe you are right. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I am the one that needs to be corrected or to be put on the path of the straight and the narrow. You give, present your evidence before me. Then I will follow you. It is called superior submitting to superior argument. Anything I say, anything somebody else, is, uh, somebody else says that you disagree with, present a counter superior argument. Never dismiss a body without presenting something that is superior to what they are saying. That is the new Biafra that we want. Not the Biafra of bodies. Oh, I, I know Gogri, oh, I know Gogri. Why don't you agree? You don't know why you don't agree. Please, I want us to build a viable civilization. And the only way we are going to build that is by interrogating what we say. I am not saying that um, um, asking questions is not a good thing. It is a very good thing. Somebody has been trying to call. I will endeavor to try and call them back. This line is jammed. I'm telling you the truth. iPhone is rubbish. It is absolute garbage. Rubbish. Rubbish. Multiple calls and it crashes. And there are other phones I'm using here. People call and call and call. The lines are still strong and active. Like this one that I'm picking now. They call on the phone. Can you hear me? Hello, Master. Can hear you? Good morning, sir. Good morning to you. Your name and where you're calling from. Please. Yeah, my name is... Where is uh, Chisum in Thank you very I'm much. From Igwacha in Biafra land. Igwacha is our capital. Please go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm very pleased. I'm very pleased to hear from you this morning. And I say, may Chuku Kikabe and make a Karo will be with you and guide you. He say, My leader, my leader, I greet you and I say, May I not stop those that I keep you. I am doing this work. We are praying for you here. 
We are doing the needful. We will make sure that we will follow you to the end and Biafra will come at last. He said, he said. I'm, I'm happy to hear from you this morning. And I say, may you and make it grow. Be with you and give you the strength, the wisdom, and understanding. At the end, Biafra will come to the glory of Chukukikabia. He said, what you need to He said, he said, he said. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. He just prayed. He just prayed. I have a caller on the line. Your name and where you're calling from, please. Hello, Mark. Good morning. Good morning to you. The caller from USA stay on the line. Please go ahead. My name is Chet Ozi. I'm calling from Noida, India. From India. Thank you very much. The world is listening. Yes. Please go ahead. Yeah, Mari, I must say that um, every Biafran has a right to appreciate you for what you are doing for us and you are like, you are a messiah to us because even personally, everybody, every Biafran should be learning from what you, are, what you are teaching us to apply on our daily lives. Because we are kind of making a correction to our personal lives, not only about the after restoration, but a life after the after restoration. You understand? So I want to really appreciate you with this time and also encourage you to do us. Thank you. Thank you very much. You are very kind. Our people are very kind. These are those that I remember. And I know that this work we are doing is for them. I have a caller on the line who has patiently been waiting. I believe you're calling from Ghana. Is that correct? My name is. Arun, I'm coming from Ghana. From Ghana, thank you very much. The world is listening. Please go ahead. Uh, Mas, uh, actually, the name for one kid in Maryland because <laughs> without you, man, uh, I have been deep uh, all the best friends. I want to try to see the other number one because I want to challenge you. Go ahead. Um. Hello? Hello. There will be moss everywhere, including Biafra land. There will be, because you cannot stop people from worshipping. They may worship in their homes, but every building, every dimension will be determined by the state because there will be freedom of worship. So people are allowed to worship in their family. But perhaps you put the problem in the moment. But in our future, in our children, children, by then, we will be able to do another Yes, you, 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 you need to, you must allow them, you must allow everybody to worship whoever and whomever they wish to worship. We cannot interfere. It is between that person and his or her God and nothing to do with the state. The faith that I practice is something that is unique to myself, between me and my God. I'm not seeking for validation from anybody else. The same way we are not allowed to intrude. Biafra land, but they have to abide by the rules and the laws of the land. That's how it's going to be. He said, he said, he said, thank you very, very much. Thank you very much. We are trying to connect. We are trying to connect. Our sister is pleading from Italy saying, please, I want to speak. Can you try and call me? We are going to do the best we can. But at the same time, we are trying to see if we can get people to meet us via yeah. Skype. The caller on the phone, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm hearing you, sir. You please, your name and where you're calling from? My name is Jenny. I'm calling from Italy. From Italy, please go ahead. Want, yes, I just want to appreciate you, what you are doing. Because my husband is from Anambra. So I just want to appreciate you. If you would not want to continue to bless you. Anyone that wants to stand against it at the station, God will put them down in the name of Jesus. He said, he said, he said. According to the book of 
à travers 54 and 17. Donc, we can't function against you, we have a prosper. He said. Every tone that will rise against you shall be condemned. He said. He said. And again, they are gathered against this Abraham. They will be scattered in the mighty mountain. He said. We will continue to bless you, sir. He said. I appreciate everything you are doing. Thank you. We will be blessed. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much for your wonderful prayers. I thank you very much for that. We have callers all over the place. In fact, here we have over how many missed calls? I think people should I'll, I'll abandon WhatsApp and call direct, please, on that number that I gave you. My goodness me. Maybe this is better. The caller on the phone, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, please. Your name and where you're calling from? I am leaving it. From, uh, Enugu Enugu, thank you very much. And where are you, where are you based? Are you calling from Biafra land? No, I'm calling from Nasarawa. From Nasarawa, thank you very much. And what is he doing there? In, is, uh, in Nasarawa, are they not killing people there? No, they are not killing people here. Okay, very good. I think that maybe Nasarawa is uh, they are baggy people. They are not full of Go ahead, please. I want to uh, thank you for thank God for what He has been doing for us, how He has been fighting for our freedom, and also I want to also comment for those people that used to make some comments concerning uh, what He said the other the other day, because uh, you know I know that uh, that what He said He said He said that. Uh, there must be a freedom worship. And some people yeah, right. misunderstand you. Yes. Some people misunderstand you yes. by saying uh, that uh, if Biafra was with Gideon, that uh, you will convert everybody to to Jewish. Uh, uh, Jew what happened? His line is off, but I know what he's trying to say, and I'll finish it for him. What he's trying to say is that people don't listen. Most black people don't listen. And on top of not being able to listen, they don't reason. There will be freedom of religion. The same way it has been with the ancients. And I made a simple, uh, uh, I alluded to, to, some, to a phenomenon that we have in our land. And I'm, I keep asking you, the deity you have in your village, is it the same deity they have in the other village? I'm asking. Some have a deity called Atan. And some have one called Agnabalajala in um, the one Chokoneze uh, deity. Has anyone come to your village to stop you from, from offering sacrifices at the shrine or the altar of these deities that you worship? Is Atan and um, Chokoneze, are they the same deity? I don't know why people cannot reason. I said, there will be freedom of religion. You can worship a snake if that is what tickles your fancy. You can worship a spider if that is what will bring you salvation. You can worship an earthworm, he did it, if that is what gives you sucker and joy. Why don't you understand that? Are people that daft? They don't reason. I said... That Biafra land will be built upon the Ten Commandments of God of Heaven, the Lord of Hosts, and I make no apologies for that. Israel is a Jewish state. Israel, there are mosques. Israel, there are churches. And Israeli Defense Force protect all these places. In Saudi Arabia, the seat of Islam. I believe they now have churches in some areas. In Kuwait, there are churches. In Oman, there are churches. In Malaysia, there are churches. In Indonesia, there are churches. They've not killed them. In the United States of America, there are mosques. So what is wrong with black people that cannot be seen very well? Any idiot who is bored will come online and start talking rubbish about religion. They don't understand. Because they are stupid and they are very daft. How many in our land do you do you think that the Biafrans are people you can go to and, and force them to stop doing what they're doing without reason? 
That means you don't know Biafra then. You have someone, that means you don't even know who you are. And why do you think IPOB is formidable? Did we kill anybody? Did we force anybody? Very soon we shall have the largest standing army in the whole of Africa. Is it by force? Is it not volunteering? People volunteer. Because we are reasonable people. When you convince somebody with a superior argument, they submit to that argument. Until they find the superior one. These are who we are. These are the people that we are. Not people you can lead sheepishly. And it's impossible. Have you ever heard anybody who practices today is going out to force you to worship the God of heaven? I have said it time and time again that every religion comes from one God, indivisible God of heaven. I've said it before. Why don't people actually understand? Who doesn't believe in God in this world? Even the deity in your village, you're praying to, you're asking your deity to please talk to God for you. Even that snake you're, you're looking at, you're, praying, you're asking that snake to talk to God for you. If you're a Christian, you're praying and you're, you're for Jesus Christ to intercede to beg God Almighty. Or you're asking the Virgin Mary to pray to God. If you're in Islam, you're asking God to pray to God for you. Everybody knows that one God. Everybody. And you're telling me that we come from Biafra land where we have Tamot, where we have Abase, where we have Olisa, where we have Chubu. Everybody agrees. And to build a nation outside who we are. Our name is Umchuku. You don't... Oh, please, people should stop being very foolish. Let me go to the call on the phone. The call on the phone, can you hear me? I am now coming to you. I've put you on hold. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, sir. Please go ahead, your name and where you're calling from. Um... I stay in Libya, but uh, my the my gap, um, I'm calling I'm from from uh, Thank you very much. Please go ahead. Please, per please permit me to speak in our uh, bit language. That is Igbo. No, you can speak English. So speak in English. The world is listening. People are listening. The whole of Biafra is listening. The whole world is listening. Speak English, please. No matter how you speak it, but speak English. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. Uh, I use this opportunity to thank you, my reader. Uh, I do really appreciate what the good work you are doing. Uh, even I'm here, I'm here in Libya, uh, and I try my best to open an IPOB family. I am the national coordinator. I see me to cook, you my guide you and protect you wherever you are going, my reader. That's Thank what you. I have to say this morning. Thank you very much. You're very kind. We have IPOB family even in Libya. I have somebody who has been waiting on the phone. They call her on the phone. I presume you're calling from the UK. Your name, please, and your precise location, if you may. Yes, thank you very much. Um, my name is Bishop Chikwendo Eloa. Uh, actually, I am Monya Kulag, but I live in I live in the UK. You know. Wow. So, um, I just want to uh, use this opportunity to appreciate you, my brother. You know, um, I just want to say that you are doing very well. First of all, I accept my condolences uh, over the. Uh, Death of uh, uh, His Royal Highness and uh, Lolo, you know, it's a, sad, it's a sad situation. But I don't want them. Thank then, you. on where we are, um, I just want to let you know that what you're doing, and in fact, uh, at some point, I described it as what Napoleon cannot do. You know, what you're doing is something that people have dared to do it, but they could not go a step further, you know. And all the um, all the people you see as um, uh, enemies, people who are trying to, uh, you know, put stud on what you're doing, I tell you, it is sheer envy because they we are not able to even move a step ahead of what you're doing. 
But um, I equally want to say that um, we are not, in fact, everyone is a Biafran, even though they might not be members of IPOB and all that. People, people are Biafrans in their mind all over. They have something to mention. To be honest, everybody is just like, what is Nam the Khan going to do today? That is what they are looking at. But um, you must remain focused. You must remain. Nobody should, by any chance, make you to leave your focus. You must remain resolute, just like your language. Remain resolute. Your ball, your eye must always be on the ball. You know. Then um, in Nigeria, as it stands today, or Niger area, as it stands today, I tell you, anyone who is telling you restructuring, restructuring, they are the real enemies of Nigeria. And please, uh, my brother, tell them who you are. What is your title, again, as, as you said from the beginning? My name is Bishop Chikwendo. Hello. Are you, are, you, uh, are you an Islamic bishop? No, I'm, I, I'm uh, a Christian. Are you a bishop of um, traditional religion? No, I am a Christian. Are you a Jewish bishop? I am a Christian. Please go ahead. Thank you very much. So, um, the point here is that anyone telling you about restructuring, because the, the, the point where Nigeria is today is at the point where everybody, it is either we come down to agree on how to live in that country or anything else is division. Let us go our separate way. And see how far we can, you know, live this life. I was born in that country, raised in that country, schooled in that country. In, in fact, the state of Nigeria today wasn't what it was when we were born. You know, we we are having that spirit of one Nigeria, one Nigeria at that time because uh, at some point, well, the, the, the treatment wasn't as bad as it is today. It is now so bad that we must have to sit down, talk about it, resolve it, or pass our way. So I'm talking that you're about to say, you are not accepting anything less than Biafra if there is no way to make sure that we have uh, an equal stake in that country. Let there be Biafra. Please, my brother. Um, Can you hear me? Hello? Yes, please. Your name and where you're calling from. Okay, my name is Prince Wait. Harrison Azo. I'm calling from Lomitogo. From Lomé. From Abreba. From Abreba, thank you very Lomitogo. much. Yes, go ahead. And the Lord will give you the, the power in this Biafran situation. Because I'm going to keep on saying, I'm the full of the mind. Daddy, I'm very, very happy to speak with the name of my God. The Lord will, will protect your family, and the Lord will guide you and your family. The Lord, the true of God, bless you and protect you. No weapon. Against you shall prosper. He said, I he pray said. that the no weapon portion against you shall prosper. He said, If I blame them on the man against you, they will not succeed. He I'm said, telling you, he said, Ime, 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 what they must they must die. They will never succeed. Yes, I'm telling you. Yes, they will not succeed. 
Ephraim mm. must come. You say? Ephraim must come. Of course, he must come. I tell him the Ephraim must come. Yes. Thank you, our, 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 our lovely father. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very you. much. Thank you, my dear brother. Thank you very, very much. Anybody who is fighting against us, you are wasting your time. You are wasting your time. You can never ever. People wrap envy and jealousy in criticism. Say, oh, we are, we are trying to be critical. But all they are doing is exhibiting their envy. I said their enviousness, their jealousy, and the fact that they are not numb. They can you cannot be me. You cannot be born in Afara. I come from Afaru. You know what that means. And incidentally, Biafra came to me. I didn't go to Biafra. Biafra came to Opolishiope, where my ancestors come from. It is not something that jealousy of people is expected. I I love it actually. That goes to show we are doing something right. That is why we have to twist everything that we say. If we say it's black, they say, oh, no, 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 it's white. I saw something that some people were circulating. You will not believe it. You won't believe it. They said, I will read it out in the open to tell you what some Igbo people, how desperate they are and what they have been doing abroad and how Elohim has been disgrace, disgracing them comprehensively. 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 You know what they wrote? They said, um, uh, uh, listen, uh, what they are writing, uh, uh, they said it's restricted. There is a 2020 report by the United States Commission on International Religious Freedom, which in the Nigerian section expressly named IPOB as one of the entities levying attacks on places of worship in Nigeria. <laughs> IPOB, we are attacking people. <laughs> you, know, you know what? When bribery meets corruption, meets envy, and they meet, they meet jealousy, it's a concoction of evil. <laughs> we are going to deal with the fools. Do you know that every time I advertise that I'm going to a particular country, Igbo people, Igbo, Igbo, I-G-B-O, Igbo. <laughs> they will write to that country. They will connive with the government of the zoo to deny me entry into that country. They told Canada the same thing. Canada told them to go to hell. I traveled to Canada and I went back into the United States of America. That's what they do. Oh, we are fighting, oh, we are fighting. I'm asking you, you claim you are fighting for your people. How come you have not done any live video? You have not given any uh, uh, interview on the fact that your people are being killed. Can't you say the bodies of 